Thank you, Madam President, dear Commissioner, dear Minister, dear colleagues. The progress report that we will be discussing and voting today covers a period of two years, which have been full of dynamic events for the Western Balkans. Despite some positive development like the enlargement methodology, the decision of the European Council on the North Macedonia and Albania at the end of last year was harmful for the Western Balkans and had a direct negative impact on the respective uh, countries and their societies. But the COVID pandemic that hit the region dramatically has shown us something else. Europe has managed to prove that it stands behind its partners. The mobilization of 3.3 billion euros for the countries in the region to deal with the effects of the pandemic was a clear demonstration of European solidarity, which has long been called into question. It has now proven to be a real and it, and it is well underlined in all four reports because the EU's engagement with Western Balkans surpasses that of any other region and is of our strategic interest. In particular, on the Republic of uh, North Macedonia, as standing rapporteur, I would like to highlight some important elements of the report. But before that, uh, let me first express my gratitude for the constructive work of the shadow report rapporteurs whose contributions undoubtedly enriched the report. North Macedonia has come a long and an easy way of building reforms and compromises until it reached the stage of starting the formal EU accession negotiations and deservedly, deservedly became the 30th NATO uh, member. The report clearly reflects that. Uh, it is an uh, objective account of what we have seen in the country in recent years. Indeed, consistent progress was achieved. The country demonstrated continuity of its dedicated commitment to the European path and the understanding of the need to implement stable and inclusive democratic reforms, to strengthen democracy and the rule of law in order to reinforce the climate of mutual trust. The report recognizes that and further calls on all political parties to remain constructive, to refrain from using nationalistic and inflammatory rhetoric. Engaging in a constructive dialogue is a prerequisite of good governance in the pursuit of cross-party goal accession. Maintaining steady pace in adopting EU reforms as means of ensuring efficient functioning of democratic institutions and procedures is also well recognized. Of course, set setbacks such as the impact on COVID-19 pandemic and the tensions in the diplomatic relations with Bulgaria were noted as well. But North Macedonia shouldn't stop with uh, the reforms, as in some areas like uh, fight against corruption, organized crime, or uh, media freedom, there are more needed reforms. There are needed reforms in areas like uh, more inclusivity in the society. We need to see deeper and faster reforms, and we need to see progress for sure. It is further important that public administration reforms are prioritized by the systematically applying merit-based standards in public appointments and promotions. The, co uh, the cooperative approach of North Macedonia throughout the negotiations of PRESPA agreement with Greece and the Treaty of Good Neighbor Relations with Bulgaria is also underlined. Having said that, I hope that both countries, North Macedonia and Bulgaria, will resume the constructive dialogue on the pending bilateral issues in order to achieve sustainable results, reaching a compromise over an action plan of concrete measures of implementation of which is to be regularly assessed in accordance with the Friendship Treaty, would restart the process and would allow the Council to convene the first intergovernmental conference as soon as possible. As I am convinced that further delays will put at risk the credibility, objectivity and reliability of the accession process. We have to focus on the bigger picture throughout uh, building trust together, we build our common future within the EU, as we need more bridges than unite us, than walls on division. Няколко думи на български. Когато едно доверие е нарушено, безспорно то трябва да бъде възстановено. 
И най-добрият начин за това е да се върнем към устоите на договор. Само той ще ни даде възможност да начертаем пътната карта на региона, който неминуемо е свързан с интеграцията на всички страни в Европейския съюз. От това ще спечели регионалното сътрудничество, от това ще спечели добросетските отношения, от това ще спечели и целия Европейски съюз. Финали, on the Kosovo report, where I am the shadow rapporteur, the country demonstrated continued and strong commitment to advancing on its European path and accelerating the reforms, as well as strong support for European integration among the population, and all of this deserves to be underlined. I do believe it is high time for all, for all European member states to recognize Kosovo and allow its citizens to benefit from visa liberalization, because all benchmarks have been fulfilled since 2018. Last elections once again demonstrated that the country deserves credit for showing high level of political maturity. And I look forward for the new government to speed up the reforms and work actively on the Pristina-Belgrade dialogue. Thank you.